Hi Facebook friends uh, of Boots and Bow Ties. This is David Locke and I never would have thought I would have had this many people with me in bed. Um, I, I know I don't know if you've ever heard that joke about uh, fortune cookies. Every time you get a fortune cookie you're so supposed to read it with um, you know you will meet a stranger and then you're supposed to read it with in bed or uh, you will have luck this year and you're supposed to say in bed. But anyway I'm not in bed to talk to you about uh, fortune cookies. I'm in bed to talk to you about white linens and white towels. And I have so many friends that will say, well, why would you want all white towels or why would you want all white sheets? Well, my wife and I chose uh, to have white sheets and uh, white towels years ago. And that's because when you have white towels or you have white sheets, you can always get them white again. If you've got black towels, they're gonna turn gray. If you've got burgundy towels, they're gonna turn pink. If you've got orange towels, they're gonna turn tangerine. Um, sheets are a little different, but if you've always got white, you can always return them to their original color. Uh, you can use Clorox. How to wash my uh, sheets to keep them uh, looking nice is I wash them uh, on warm or hot, and I usually wash them with Woolite and with Clorox too. But if they're really stained, if they're getting yellow, if they're, they're very old, uh, I'll put a little bit of Clorox into the water. My towels, um, and we have two boys, and uh, my son the other day, he ran outside, he played outside, he came in, he said, Dad, I love the Halloween towel, that's so cool. And I went in there and I looked at it and he had wiped his muddy hands all over the towel. But it was white, so I was able to soak it, I was able to get that out. Um, also, you know, you can just always return to that same color. Um, they're relatively inexpensive. They always match. Uh, you don't have to worry about a color match. So, uh, white is something we love in our house. Uh, if my boys get Georgia red clay on them, um, you know, their socks get dirty, I put them all in the wash. Hot water, a powdered uh, laundry detergent I have found works much better than a liquid detergent at getting stains out. And again, I put between a quarter and a half a cup of bleach uh, in each one of my washes. Uh, this week on Boots and Bow Ties, if you haven't already subscribed, please do. Go to our website, it's bootsandbowties.com. Of course, we're on Facebook, we're on Instagram, we're on Pinterest, uh, and I'm also on uh, Twitter. And one of the new things I'm doing, uh, because I love to paint watercolors, is I've started creating a watercolor icon for every one of my blog posts. And over time, uh, the plan is, is to change the whole website so it has a look of being filled with watercolors. Uh, this year, or not this year, rather, this week, I can't even talk anymore, it's been a long week. But uh, this week, we have a blog that came out on Tuesday that was about building a large floral chandelier for our local art center. Um, the blog that came out today, I had my first uh, vlog guest, my friend Eric Cheek, uh, who is a um, gifted trim contractor and um, a contractor builds houses. And he shows us how to, to make his amazing chicken wings. So take a look at that video. And on Saturday, the blog that will come out is on the flavors of fall, the top 10 flavors of fall and the new uh, flavorful fall trends for 2019, so make sure you take a look at that. But please subscribe. Every Thursday, uh, an email comes out with our newest blog, so you wanna make sure you don't miss that. And I wanna welcome all my followers. I've gotten so many followers this week across the whole United States, Texas, Maine, uh, the Midwest, all over the United States, and I wanna welcome each and every one of you. I'm so glad you're here. Please message me if you have any questions about homekeeping, about cooking, about gardening. I am a frustrated house husband, and uh, I've had to learn all of this along the way, so I'd love to, to teach a few things. Maybe we can learn from one another. So again, make sure you subscribe on bootsandbowties.com and help us out. Help me be able to keep these blogs coming by suggesting uh, my website and Facebook uh, boots and bow ties to your friends. Share a post if you like them, and we're so glad you're here. I can't quite reach to give you a Facebook post, but I hope you have a wonderful weekend.